Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Roncoli. I am Assistant Professor in Transportation Engineering at Alt University and I'm here as the leader of the Smart Mobility Stream to talk to you about some of the activities that we are doing within the Finest Twin Center of Excellence. Uh, let me first introduce briefly our team. Uh, we are about 15 people from both Alt University and Taltech. Uh, we combine uh, quite multidisciplinary expertise uh, we have people coming from transportation engineering and expertise, for example, in traffic management and control. Uh, some people uh, with expertise in cyber physical systems, automation and control engineering. People that come from data science, uh, including machine learning and artificial intelligence. And then people coming uh, for technology developments, uh, for example, from robotics and mechatronics. The combination of our expertise actually allows us to uh, work and try to research uh, some of what we think are the very big challenges that future cities are going to face. Uh, for example, uh, we have quite a wide interest in trying to understand better uh, the mobility behavior of people and try to uh, understand how future mobility services and future mobility technologies are going to actually change the behavior of people and how these changes are going to affect uh, the overall behavior of the, our transport system. Uh, of course, all this understanding is aimed towards uh, building a more socially sustainable uh, mobility system for the future. Uh, in this context, of course, we should not forget it's quite important, also technology, technology development. Uh, and for example, we have a very strong interest in, in how uh, future self-driving uh, vehicle mobility should be developed. Um, an additional topic when we talk about, uh, for example, uh, traffic management and real-time operation of traffic systems is, uh, of course, thinking on how uh, new data sources can actually come into the picture. Uh, we can have, of course, much more information. We know that, that thanks to digitalization, we're going to get much more information about mobility. And we're also going to have much more possibilities of affecting the behavior of people, of people for example, in real time. So uh, this is another topic that we are uh, strongly investigating. And another important topic that uh, it's worth mentioning is, of course, thinking about the new mobility services that are going to appear and um, how this can actually uh, allow a better integration of different multimodal services in our uh, future transport systems. And in this, we have a very um, big interest in development of uh, new techniques for analysis of mobility data and how this can actually be um, used for, uh, for our future uh, systems. Let me now briefly present you a few of the uh, activities that we have been doing uh, in the past year. So one interesting activity I would like to uh, describe you is some uh, modeling effort trying to understand the impacts of future mobilities uh, on our, on our uh, system. And so uh, we're going to see uh, some new technology, some new services. So how are these, uh, can, can, how can you actually assess how these are, are changing our system? What's their impact on different people? Uh, we are tackling this problem by uh, building, let's say, a joint uh, modeling framework where we are trying to both um, represent the operational level of the system. So how the interaction between uh, uh, for example, automated vehicles and automated vehicles and, 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 and the infrastructure and with manual vehicles are actually uh, changing the uh, what we call the supply of the system and how this actually interacts with what is called the demand side, so how the people are actually using these different mobility services and technologies uh, in the future. And uh, we are building this in a completely disaggregated way so that we're actually still able to identify uh, how this affects the system also in terms of, of, of the users, in terms of uh, users with different demographic and socioeconomic characteristics, for example. And for this, we are building actually uh, a case study around the city of Tallinn. So once, once we are going to have this tool uh, ready, uh, which we are developing, we will actually be able uh, to conduct a lot of studies 
uh, about the future, so we can assess various uh, technologies, how they are going to uh, change the lives of people. Uh, we are going to see how they are going to change uh, the, uh, the uh, traffic patterns within a city. We can uh, allow to modify and develop new algorithms, how this can operate. Uh, different uh, fleet sizing, how this actually is going to be affecting the system, and understanding in particular what is very important for us, how they are going to uh, change the behavior uh, of the people using these services, and then who is going to use them, and then what kind of people may be more interested or more keen in using uh, these kind of services. Of course, building such model uh, requires a lot of data, and uh, we have been uh, gathering this data over, over, over the past months. There's been a very, very uh, large effort, I would say. Uh, and um, now, what, what's the uh, step at which we are aiming is to build essentially some sort of a, uh, population of, of our city and to build also what are the uh, relevant, uh, relevant points within our city. So where do people live? Uh, and, and where do people work? Where do people go? And then try to understand from, from existing people what, what are uh, the, the factors behind their choices in traveling and how they can actually change uh, in the future. Uh, of course, we cannot have this kind of information for all the people in the city, and we also don't want to have it. Well, there is a right to privacy. For people, so what we are essentially building uh, at this point is what is called a synthetic population. So we are trying to build a population that looks like the population of, of Tallinn, for example, in this case. So that has that shares some uh, statistical uh, characteristics with the population of Tallinn, but is still a synthetic uh, population. And we are at this point, uh, we built this population already. So now we are jumping into, let's say, the next. Uh, the next step, which is trying to calibrate this population and then uh, going into the um, building the supply side, so how, how, um, how we model these technologies, how, how they affect the, the, uh, their interaction on the road. Uh, but uh, the idea at this point with this synthetic population is to uh, have it completely open. So we would like to make this data set open so anyone can actually download it and use it for uh, different studies, different analysis. Uh, very happy to, 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 that if this happens. And we also plan uh, to make the, the whole model open source, which means that, of course, in our uh, model, we are using assumptions, we are using a certain set of methods for creating an, an, the, different, the different components. So if someone else wants to improve our model, want to extend our model with more features, um, that's absolutely more than welcome. Another activity that I would like to briefly uh, describe you is um, something that is ongoing with the city of Helsinki. Uh, this is within uh, the frame to the Yat Kasari Smart Mobility Lab. And we are essentially building an open uh, data platform where uh, data from different sources uh, related to traffic and mobility can be collected and shared publicly. Uh, to anyone, uh, let's say, who would like to work and, and, and work with it. And we are uh, actually in particular interested in uh, a few uh, sub-products of, of this project. Um, one is, for example, the real-time simulation of the traffic situation. Uh, we can develop further traffic uh, analytical tools and then the optimization and control uh, that could be, for example, applied uh, to traffic signals and, and other um, and other future actuators. Um, we are at this point at the phase where we are doing, uh, there, there are already some field installations, and we are what we are building from our side is mostly uh, this digi dynamic digital twin. So we are essentially building a simulation model that takes in real time the traffic data and tries to um, simulate and predict uh, what is actually happened on, on the traffic. That, that could be very nicely, I would say, connected uh, with, with uh, within uh, the framework of Twin City. Uh, Yat Kasari is indeed the place in Helsinki where, uh, where, uh, where there is located the West Harbor. So uh, most of the ferries from and to Tallinn are going through that, to that harbor. So what, what we are trying um, to think and to develop is maybe some sort of uh, integrated traffic management framework uh, between Tallinn and Helsinki where actually the flow of information is kind of smooth between the two cities and we actually allow to, to 
have a more efficient, let's say, movement of passengers and goods uh, between the two cities. Um, and now, very, very quick last uh, description about other initiatives we, are, uh, we have just, we are just starting. And this is about a human mass uh, multimodal, let's say, service ecosystem. So here we are again, uh, open data is again uh, the focus of this work, but in this case we are thinking more of services, more oriented to services. Um, so we are actually thinking how we can improve the interaction between the different uh, transport modes in order to, to, have to achieve uh, much uh, more seamless transport for, for uh, users. In this case, we are building actually pilot and case study um, in Estonia. And, and over there, of course, we are uh, planning to use widely open data and, and machine learning techniques for, for analyzing, uh, for analyzing the, the old data that we, have, uh, we may have available. I hope I interested you in, in our topics. Uh, we are already having on, on all these topics an ongoing collaboration with, with cities. Uh, I thank them uh, once more, let's say, for giving us access to data and for sharing data, but of course, thinking in terms of the future, so there, there is definitely for me a big reminder for cities, you know, think what are the biggest problems that you foresee for regarding mobility for the future and just let us know. We will try to find a way of working together on those. And thank you very much for listening.